Hey guys, Barry here and welcome back to IGS. Welcome to Rise Race of Future on the Nintendo Switch. Now we are playing version 1.6 which is out right now. So I was trying to update using the button, it wouldn't work, so I deleted the game, re-downloaded it and it came. So, a bit of a change already as you can see with the start as it was loading up. Oh here we go, two player mode, let's see our options anyway. Okay, so the exact same here by the looks of it for the game modes for one player. Okay. Two player mode. So we have challenges and we have championship. Discovery, rookie. So I'm going to give this a go by myself and see if it works. So let's do a 60 FPS. You know, in blue challenges. Okay, so so there we go. There's the menu there. So there's me. So here's the other controller. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the. All good to go here. So I'll try my best. What I might do is I might just finish off the race with myself in the left, one player. And then see if the game changes, you know, the race is over perhaps, I haven't a clue. Just interesting to see how it'll work. So I'm hoping the microphone won't mess up or anything. Yeah. As you can see with this challenge we have two laps. We have a guy stuck there, okay, that's weird. <laughs> I'm not going to do the screen here. <laughs> Laugh. So I was checking, they had to do something again, BD Dev, and it came live there at 12 o'clock at CET time, which is 11 p.m. here. Okay, so nothing happens, okay. So as you can see we have just a game finishing off. So I'll do it now. It's 
like the fastest car in the game, or is it one of them anyway? So it depends on your settings for grip and all that there. You can change when you play it. to see with the replay on the left hand side well not the replay sorry the finished player the camera changes from car vehicle vehicle like by the looks of it Start here, okay. No. Interesting. So, basically, I'll read this here, if you don't mind. In addition to all the previous upgrades, adjustable car handling, 60, 60 FPS, HD rumble, the new two-player mode is the final touch to make Rise Race the Future one of the best racing games on the Switch, and I fully agree with that personally. Rise Race the Future is a racing game inspired by arcade-ready games from the 90s featuring futuristic cars equipped with a boost system. Gameplay combines arcade and simulation to let you slide on all types of terrains and especially on water. Depending on the player's skill, each vehicle can be set up to handle or to slide. Everyone can play and improve in its driving skills in pure fun. So, version 1.6 in two player mode, challenge mode, co op game gameplay. The objectives are set in common, each player can focus on different objectives and the results are accumulated. So, I could. So for example there, yeah, finish second or better, one player, second person could never be last, and you add that together in total. Championship mode, at any time the second player can join or quit the actual championship swapping with an AI player. Interesting. And the two player option is available in 30 FPS and 60 FPS mode. So. Let us have a go at the game in 30 FPS. I would do championship mode, but I want to do it myself. I don't want to ruin it. The, uh, so let's go back into... Let's go back to the... I guess we can do this one here, the second one. Uh, many laps, three laps there, okay. No, actually we'll do this one here, there's less laps. So, okay, I'm gonna use the same car again. Sorry, the Vanguard is the first one that you can pick to start. So. I 
I guess I will do some gameplay maybe in handheld mode if you're interested in checking it out as well. So as you can see here is the most powerful car in the game I guess in, tech, in terms of power, the top panel there. It's an absolute beast. Okay, let's see what happens right now. gorgeous game so 30 was the original frame rate when the game came out and there's a player there behind the second player just stuck there you know an AI Stuck for some reason. <laughs> Let's go. That's quite funny. Super mode, okay, so let's go back here to start. Okay, so it changed the visual quality for both single player and two player mode, okay. So I want to do a quick time attack. Let's go back into 30. So 
because I want to check something. I guess it's good to have both player modes in the one video, I think. I'll do one qu uh, quick lap, be grand. settings anything here different no I don't think so controls okay so one more lap and we are good to go but yeah guys so I want to tell you something at the end of the video Surprise y'all. Okay, let's go back. So basically, I'm giving away a free copy of Rise Race to Future on the Switch. My best time is 47.633 there. I can't beat it, I, I don't know how, but anyway. Uh, so yes, yeah, a free copy. I'm giving away a free NA copy, USA code. So if you're from the US, more than likely you are. Most of my fans are from there. And thanks for watching, as always, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and please check out VDDev on Twitter, and of course YouTube. I'm sure they'd really appreciate it as well. Please support this game. So basically giving it a free code, if you head over to my Twitter channel right now, you have a chance to basically, you follow me, myself, VDDev, like the tweet, retweet, the tweet with the link in it, you know, the video, this video right now. You have a chance to head over there and win a free copy. And I'll announce the winner tomorrow. I'll put up the time, I'll think about it. And yeah, that's it. Free copy. If you want an NA account on the Switch, doesn't matter what region you're from, it's open globally. But if you have an NA account, you can win a free copy. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. You can, of course, check us out on YouTube and Twitter. And for more Nintendo and Rise Ways to Future, keep it right here at IGS. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye bye.